welcome to your general reading for February 21st to 24th, 2019. I do want you to remember this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what does not. Many cards are wanting to drop out for you right now. I only take a maximum of three at a time because sometimes I feel like they get stuck. So let's keep going and shuffling here for you. Now, remember this is a general reading, like I said, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. For those of you that are brand new to Tracy, welcome to my channel. I don't re read reversals, okay? And please like, subscribe, and share. It really helps my channel to grow and keep these ones, of course, free for you, which I absolutely love doing. I've already burnt the sage for your reading. I don't know if you can see it burning, but here it is. I always burn that for all of the readings. For those of you that are brand new, you, you don't know that. And I have the healing stones surrounding your reading to keep any negativity out, okay? Wow, here they're going. They're going, they're going. I don't read reversals because I just don't believe in them. Okay, I really don't. So, wow, they are hopping for you. What is going on? Okay, Pisces. Pisces, please, Spirit. We're going to get one more card and then we'll get into it. Whew. Well, I guess Spirit had other ideas. Maximum of three. There you go. They popped out. So here they go. Holy cow, what's going on, Pisces? Whew, okay, interesting. Okay, let's get into it. So in the, I will do an extended reading to this as well and we'll dig a lot deeper, okay? And I will clarify as I feel the need to. So let's go ahead and get started. Remember, this isn't for everybody. And even though I'm doing this 21st to the 24th, any of this can happen at any time. It can happen months from now. Some of this you may be feeling already. And some of this may be your love interest or a family member I'm picking up. So take it how it resonates for you, okay? Here's the five of wands. So this is about... I feel that somebody's having some conflict or some opposing opinions, some, you know, controversy, you know, it can be anything. This can be a family fighting, okay, because there's quite a few people here. So there might be too many people involved in a relationship or in a family. You know, this is an offer of stability, I feel, coming in from a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. It doesn't have to be, but this is the slowest moving night in the deck. Somebody may be wanting to bring in a very grounded, practical offer to you of love. Or this could just mean that they're wanting to bring you in some sort of stability or you're wanting stability and it's coming towards you in some form or another after something very difficult ended for you, okay? This is about wishes coming true, okay? The Nine of Cups is, is about, you know, um, having all of the tools available to you to make your wishes come true, meaning they're coming forward. And Cups is all about emotions. But this is about an actual wish coming true. So you may have wished for stability to come in. And after something that was very difficult ended in your life. Tens are about completion. So something may have completed in your life that was very difficult. There may have been a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. Um, this could be among family members or within a relationship, like I was saying. But this is about stability coming in. You may have wished for stability to come in. Maybe somebody's coming into your life romantically that's offering you stability. Or it could just mean somehow, some way, your wishes are coming true in, in terms of stability and an offer coming in of some sort. It doesn't have to be romantically. Um, but it could be. It could be. So take it how it resonates for you. But this is about having harmony and wishes coming true in abundance. Okay. But we have the Seven of Swords here. And this is about somebody being dishonest. There could be somebody around you that you're associated with that's being dishonest. That could be what some bickering and fighting and controversies on. It doesn't have to be. This could, you know, simply mean that... Uh, um, an offer of stability is coming in and, and somebody's being sneaky about it. They're not telling you that they're bringing you in stability or an offer, giving you money or your resources that you need in order to make your wishes come true. Maybe it's a surprise. Okay, so this is about somebody trying to get away with something. And it could be you. You could be trying to get away with something. This is the fool, a major arcana. This signifies that... Major arcanas are things of significance in your life that's coming in or happening. And again, this can happen months from now. It can be happening in your life right now. It could be happening six months from now. Okay, but the fool is a person that goes out on a journey and takes brand new risks and opportunities. Sometimes it means you could be expecting a surprise visitor. Again, 
like I was saying, somebody being sneaky or dishonest, or maybe they're they're bringing in a surprise. Maybe there's a, you know, an offer of stability or an offer of money coming into you because pentacles are about money, coins, stability, resources. And you have wishes coming true here after something difficult ended, okay? So there could be an offer of either love coming in that includes stability or somebody taking risks and chances and gonna you know give you some money in order to have your wishes come true but they're you know it's a surprise they're gonna kind of pounce on you and present this offer to you that could be wow we'll we'll do some clarifying here let's find out pisces leave me some messages down below i'd love to hear from you about what's going on let me know Okay, if you'd like a private reading, all that information is down below at shacy.com. Oh, and there's a 25% off discount coupon. Take advantage of that. It's a great deal to be had. It's, you know, it's more personal. I can do Skype or FaceTime, whatever you feel comfortable with, or a video link. You can watch, you can watch the video in your pajamas and have coffee and chill and, you know, sit on your couch and watch the video. Uh, that is definitely something a lot of people like to do, <laughs> especially on a weekend. You have the star card. This is beautiful. Major Arcana. This is about wishes coming true. Again. So you're moving in the right, right direction here, I'm feeling. Because this is about hope and clarity and renewal. After something difficult ended in your life. This could have been a relationship. It could be anything. This is a very painful ending. But it's the end of the cycle. And so now hope and renewal and clarity is coming in. And new risks, opportunities, chances are here for you. And the universe is saying it's being divinely guided. You might be being divinely guided toward a soulmate. Okay? That could be your wishes coming true. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. It could be an Aquarius with a star card here. It could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, I've got here. So regardless of the sign, it's about the energy of the cards and, and what I'm picking up from them and what I'm sensing and what I'm feeling is, is that you're being given brand new opportunities, okay, after something difficult in your life ended. If it hasn't yet, it's it could be coming. Okay, I'm feeling this may have already have happened, um, but it, it may not have. I mean, it's all in divine timing for all of us. But with the star card here, this is being divinely guided towards healing, towards a possible soulmate, clarity, renewal, and hope. Wishes coming true now. This is all about wishes coming true between both of these cards and being divinely guided with the star card here. So you absolutely have new opportunities coming in here. This is fantastic. This is beautiful. I'm going to pull one more card, then we're going to go to the extended. We're going to dig a lot deeper. Now, in the extended, I pull my Enchanted Tarot, which I've had for 25 plus years here. Okay? They really jump out. You can see how old they are. Can you see that? Look at the difference in the, in the color. <laughs> so we're going to pull some of those as well as I thank you to all of your donations. Thank you so much. It helps my channel stay free here and keep going. This is the angel message cards I bought with the donation. So thank you so much for those of you that, that have donated. It allows me to do that. I appreciate that very much. And for those of you that wish to donate, that's down below as well. All the information is down below. Now the extended is another 15 plus or minus minutes depending on what I feel I need to pull. So let's pull a couple more cards and we're going to go to that extended. So if this your feeling is your life here happening, well then fantastic. You know, you definitely want to take advantage of that extended. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's uh I'm going to clarify this 5 of wands. I want to know what what this is all about. 5 of wands. Why is the 5 of wands here please for Pisces? Ooh, fast. Okay. This is about a queen of pentacles. This is, again, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. You may be fighting or arguing with the Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or somebody with strong earth in their chart. It can be arguing over stability or money because this queen can be female or male, is generally very grounded. Um, they're very solid. You know, they're very traditional and... They believe in being very stable and grounded. And when you take them out of a stable a situation, it can cause a lot of arguments. Um, it doesn't have to be. This can also be about stability again. Maybe there's arguing over stability. And it can be with any sign. Okay? It can be with any sign. But when I clarified the Five of Wands, it came up with the Queen of Pentacles. So there could be, you know, fighting, bickering arguments over stability okay 
Okay, let's pull a couple more cards. I'm going to clarify the Knight of Pentacles now. I'm very curious about the Knight of Pentacles. I'm sure you are too. Or you already know you have a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Or somebody offering stability. Or it could be money, again, like I was saying. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles, please, spirits. It could just simply mean that there's a love offer coming in from an earth sign or somebody with strong earth in their chart. You have the Eight of Swords. So somebody's feeling like they're in their own mental prison. Okay? And it can be due to money, stability, or waiting for money and stability to come in and they're in their head. It could be you or a love interest in their head about stability because we've got two cards, um, pentacles, doing with stability. Or it could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that you're dealing with is all in their head. They're, they've put themselves in their own mental prison, perhaps. Maybe they've just gone through an ending. They might be at the end of a cycle, okay? But wishes are coming true here either way, and this is divinely guided with the star card here, and somebody, somebody is taking risks and chances. Somebody is being sneaky or being dishonest, but it could be in a good way. It could be about a surprise visit. Maybe somebody's going to pay you a surprise visit that has strong earth in their chart or representing the qualities, bringing you in stability. Somebody may want to bring you in some stability. Okay, and then the next thing that came in was a judgment card. So this is, this is again divinely guided. See the angel there blowing her horn? This is about waking up, smelling the coffee, and going, wow. I can now do this. I have hit rock bottom and I am ready to take a brand new chance, more risks. I have a lot more opportunities now that this has ended. And, you know, holy cow, like I didn't realize my slate is wide open. I've got a brand new slate to start from and I can do whatever I want whenever I want. And wishes are coming true. I have brand new renewed hope. I have brand new clarity. I'm on a new path. I'm being an given an opportunity to let go of the past here and take a chance. Take brand new, brand new opportunities. I can do whatever I want. And I'm going to play the fool and I'm going to go on my journey and I'm going to take those risks and I'm going to take those chances so that all my wishes and dreams can come true. And these cards are here to say that wishes are coming true. You're being divinely guided and you can heal from this hurt and this pain and this trauma that you went through. If this is you or your love interest, whoever the energy is I'm picking up. You're being given a brand new start, a brand new slate, brand new opportunities. Healing. Being divinely guided. This is beautiful, Pisces. Absolutely. Let's go to the extended. We're going to pull some more cards. I'm going to pull some more cards from my 25-year-old Enchanted deck here, which really drop out for me. They really speak to me. Look at the Six of Hearts just popped up. You know what that is? That's the Six of Cups in traditional Rider weight. You might be getting involved with somebody from your past is resurfacing into your life. You may be wanting to go pay them a surprise visit or them to you. Wow, we're going to pull some more cards in that extended. So do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. It only takes you a second. Subscribe. I truly appreciate it. It really helps my channel grow. It only takes you a moment. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I thank you so much for being here. It's my passion and my pleasure to read for you. Just go ahead and hit that uh, arrow down for the description if you're interested in having the extended version. And I'll see you over there, okay? And it'll be pinned down below in the comment section too. And leave me some comments. I love hearing your life stories and I love responding to you. Thanks so much, Pisces, and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.